In this video, we will be discussing economies of scope and how to find if economies of scope exist in certain situations. Here we have a problem where they give us three different cost functions, where we have a cost function for quantity 1 equals 20q plus 3q squared, a cost function for quantity 2 of 13q plus 2q cubed, and then a cost function of q1 and q2 of 25q plus 4q squared. And they tell us that q1 is 15 and q2 is 7, and we want to know what the economies of scope is. Economies of scope is essentially something that tells us if it would be beneficial to produce two goods together as opposed to producing them separately. And usually, economies of scope is a positive or a negative number, where a positive number tells us that economies of scope exists and we should produce these two goods together. But when economies of scope is a negative number, it means that economies of scope does not exist. We have diseconomies of scope, and it would be better to produce these two goods separately. And when economies of scope is zero, we are indifferent if we want to produce them separately or together. But how do we find economies of scope? So the first thing we want to do is we want to find the cost to produce at our current quantities. So as for the cost function, of quantity 1 that equals 20 times Q, which in this case is 15, plus 3Q squared, which is 15 squared. And if we plug that into a calculator, we get a cost of quantity 1 equals 975. And we would do this for the next two cost functions. So as with the cost function for quantity 2, we have 13q, and q is 7 in this situation, plus 2q cubed, which is then 7 cubed. And by plugging that into a calculator, we get a cost for quantity 2 equals... 777. And then for our last cost function of the cost for quantity 1 and quantity 2, we have 25 times Q, and Q in this case is then 15 plus 7, which is then 22, and that would be added by 4 times 15 plus 7 squared. And we find our cost for quantity 1 and quantity 2 equals 2,486. So we found our costs for each individual product as well as if we were to produce them together. And we want to see if it would be better to produce them together or to produce them separately. So what we will do, we will use a specific formula for determining if economies of scope exist or not. So we have S, which is our economies of scope, equals the cost function for quantity 1 plus the cost for quantity 2 minus the cost of quantity 1 and quantity 2 together, and that is all over the cost of quantity 1 and quantity 2. So if we plug in what we know, we know that quantity 1 was 975 plus quantity 2, which was 777, minus the cost of them together, which was 2,486, and that is all over 2,486. And if we plug that entire thing into a calculator, our economies of scope ends up being a negative 0 0.295. So as we can see, it costs more to produce these two goods together than it would to produce these two goods separately.
and as a result, diseconomies of scope exists, while economies of scope does not exist. And this firm would end up producing both of these two goods separately in order to save money. Here we have another problem where we have three new cost functions and new quantities and they also want to figure out what the economies of scope is. We have a cost function for quantity 1 of 30q plus 4q squared, a cost function for quantity 2 of 24q plus 3q cubed, and then a cost function for quantity 1 and 2 of 45q plus 3q squared. And they tell us that quantity 1 is 14 and quantity 2 is 11. So we will take the same steps as in the previous problem. So we have cost for quantity 1 equals 30 times Q1, which in this case is 14, plus 4 times Q1 squared, which is 14 squared. And we find the cost for quantity 1 to equal 1,204. Next, we have the cost function for quantity 2. And that equals 24 times Q, which is 11, since it is quantity 2, plus 3 times Q cubed, and Q is 11, so we have 11 cubed. And that gives us a cost for quantity 2 equals 4,000. 257. Lastly, we have the final cost function of the cost for quantity 1 and quantity 2. And that is equal to 45 times Q, which is 14 plus 11, because it takes into account both Qs. And that is added by 3 times Q squared, and our Q is 14 plus 11 squared. And using a calculator, we find our cost function for quantity 1 and quantity 2 to equal 3,000. And if we use the same economies of scope formula as we did before, we have economies of scope equals the cost of Q1 plus the cost of Q2 minus the cost of Q1 and Q2, and that is all over the cost of Q1 and Q2. And so if we plug in what we know, we have the economies of scope equals 1,204 plus 4,000 257, and then minus 3,000, and that is all over 3,000. And if we plug that entire thing into a calculator, we find our economies of scope to equal 0 0.82. So since this is a positive number, economies of scope does exist, it would be better to produce both products together in this situation as opposed to producing them separately. That will conclude this video on economies of scope.